Hello babes, it's me, Shannon B for Brown Girl Bella, back again to bring you lips, lashes, and luxury. Bargain Bellas, this is what you've been waiting for. I'm going to do a full face using some new things that I got from e.l.f. Cosmetics that stands for eyes, lips, and face. I'm going to be putting on as many e.l.f. products as I have, plus supplementing them with other drugstore and bargain brands. So, stay with us. Hello again, babes. If this is your first time here, I am Brown Girl Bella, and I'm here to bring you lips, lashes, and luxury. Today is a bargain Bella Bonanza. I'm gonna be using a lot of drugstore and bargain brands and first and foremost I'm going to start off with the Maybelline I have both the 24 hour foundation as well as the super stay better skin I'm going to combine both to put as a foundation on my face so I was actually looking for the elf primer that I have and I could not find it so I'm not going to use any primer on my face. Instead, I'm just going to start with my foundation. I already have my skincare on as well as my sunscreen, which is why I'm looking like an extra in the Blue Man group. <laughs> All right, so we're going to mix the two. I'm going to now use the Better Skin, also by Maybelline. This is a little lighter, so I'm going to put it in the perimeter of my face where I want it to be a little bit more light. And now I'm going to blend both of them in. To give me that coverage that I want. So both of them are really good. The one from Maybelline called Better Skin. This one is in the shade Golden Honey. And then the one that is 24 hour is in Warm Coconut. So those are the shades that I'm using. Again, I like to mix the two because it really does help with blending it into my skin and making it a little bit more appropriate to wear because the warm coconut I think is a little too dark and the warm honey sometimes can be a little too light but mixing both together actually makes it look really nice. I do love Maybelline products because the foundation is very blendable. They have a lot of different shades. So if you're not certain of your skin tone and what shade would match, I would suggest going to the drugstore and picking up a couple of bottles you think may be a good match before you move on to anything a little bit more expensive. Nowadays, you can't go in and sample things anymore, so you really are going to have to rely on site. And also look on their website and see who is wearing what color foundation and if you can find someone online who is kind of your same shade range or match I would suggest using that as your guide as well because that may help you okay confession time I do not have a bargain eye pencil however the pencil that I love and use is my benefit precisely my brow if you want to get it on a semi discount, you can get the mini size, which is about 
during the Ulta sales, you can probably even get it for 10. But I love this product. It really does help define my brows. I like the bigger size, which is $22 because it does have a nice stiff spoolie on the other end that helps break up these little tiny hairs that I have and really helps me to give a nice definition to my brows. So I think that and one other product is like my big splurge in this video. Everything else will be at a bargain. Now that the eyebrows are done, I'm going to carve out a little bit of the brow. And I'm going to use the Fenty concealer that I have. This is pretty inexpensive for people who like a nice flat applicator tip. It's a great color. I use the 420. And then I use 390 or 370 to highlight. Okay, so my other little cheat that I'm going to use is by Hourglass. This is the Hourglass Veil Eye Primer. It's a little dirty, so I won't show the bottle. But I do love this primer. It goes on so nicely. And for those like me with a little bit more mature eyes, it helps make sure that there's no creasing in your eye makeup application. And everything goes on really smoothly and stays in place. So this is really a great one. I know Anastasia Beverly Hills, which I also have, is a really good eye primer as well. I believe that one is $13. This one I believe is a little bit more, but I will have the link for both in my description box. So if you care to shop with Shannon, know that I get a small commission if you choose to purchase anything through the links that I provide. Now it's time for eyeshadow. I am so excited about this. It's called the Retro Paradise. 18 wonderful, beautiful eyeshadow shades. Don't mind this one at the end. I stuck my pinky finger in it. So it's got a little bit of indentation. Otherwise, this is a gorgeous palette. I will do shade swatches at the end, but yeah, I'm ready to jump in. I'm going to start off with Fuego, and I'm gonna do kind of a sunset, spicy mommy kind of, let's see how it goes. All right, starting with Fuego, we're going to throw that into the crease. Okay, I can barely see Fuego. I'm gonna try to build it up a little bit more. Lots of fallout in the pan. Okay, not sure if it's the brush or the actual shadow, but I'm getting a bit of skipping. So I'm going to go in with a smaller brush and I'm just going to try and clean that up a little bit. 
and pat down more of this color. I'm still working with the first color, which is Fuego. So I'm not really happy that this color is not picking up the way it should. And even with a natural hair brush, it is the shadow. It's not really coming across. on the eye as it does in the pan. So fuego, no fuego. We're gonna try to salvage this with caliente. We're gonna grab some of that and we're gonna try to throw that into the crease using that same brush. And again, I'm finding that this is skipping. It's not holding on to the color. It's really patchy. All right. Caliente is the same. It's not picking up. It's very patchy. and not performing well at all. Mm. No bueno. Okay, so I'm not having any luck with these matte shades. So let's see how the shimmer shades hold up. I'm going to go in first with Rise and Shine. It's this color right here. And we're going to try to throw that onto the lid. Okay, so the shimmers are working a lot better than the matte. Okay, so the shimmer saved this eye look. That was Rise and Shine. I'm going to do it on the other eye now. So that saved the look a little bit. I'm going to try to go in on Fortuna, which is more of a bronzy shade. And I'm going to put that right at the end of the eye, right in that corner. And I'm also going to run that down the lash line. Same color for Tuna. As a inner corner spotlight, I'm gonna go in with Pariso. And I'm gonna pop that right in the corner as that inner corner highlight. So the eye look is done. Like I said, I'll do swatches of all the colors at the end, but I think you know where I'm going with this palette and that's nowhere, but we'll talk about it more at the end. Let's move on and talk about these cheek products. Elf also came out with mini cheek products. They are a blush and highlighter duo. I picked up what I thought would be the two deepest shades. This one is called Coconut. And this one is called Spiced Apple. So we're gonna go and try the Spiced Apple first using my Ruffer, I'm sorry, my Sonia G brush. This is the Classic Cheek by Sonia G. And we're going to pop that on the cheeks. 
wiping it off i'm gonna go in with a touch of the coconut just on top of that spiced apple just to give it a little bit more definition since we're not using bronzer i'm going to take that cheek product and just put it right on the outskirts of the spiced apple I'm going to put a little bit on the forehead, again, just for a little bit more definition. Not bad, not bad. Let's try the Sonia G Detail Pro, and I'm going to go now with those highlighters. Going back to the Spice Apple, I'm going to take that highlighter, and I'm going to pop it on this side. can barely see it. Let's try a little bit more. Okay, there we go. And now for the brow bone, I'm going to take a little bit of the coconut highlighter and I'm going to put that right underneath the brow. I'm going to blend that in. Same with the other eye. And what's left, I'll put it down the center of my nose. And a bit on the cupid's bow. Okay, so the mini cheeks, I think I like these. <laughs> But as I said, we'll save all opinions till the end. Let's go in with the Bargain Mascara. For mascara, I'm going to use the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. It has a great hourglass shape to the wand. And it really does lift and separate your lashes. And it adds very nice volume to them as well love this mascara very good especially for my bargain bellas who want that same luxurious look that some of the high-end mascaras give you but for a bargain price l'oreal lash paradise voluminous lash paradise finally for the lips i'm going to use my ColourPop bff3 And for lip gloss, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Retro Paradise Dream On Lip Gloss in the shade A Moment. Okay, Bellas, this is the finished look. I'm going to go through each of these swatch colors and then we're going to talk about all of the products in totality. So stay here.
Okay, as you saw from even the swatches as well as my demo and trying these on, the mattes are very, very soft and they are not very pigmented. So they end up being very splotchy when you are applying them to your lids. So even with an eye primer, these mattes do not work for me. However, the shimmers in here are really very pretty. They're very pigmented. On the first swatch, I got excellent coverage and excellent color deposit. So I would say the shimmers in here are much, much better than the mattes. Is it worth $14? I say no. I think for $14, you can get your hands on a very nice palette Heck, you can even get, if you like shimmers, you can go on Pat McGrath's website. Right now, she's offering a palette for $14 that I paid $28 for. So grab that one if you're spending $14 and leave this one where it's at. If you do want to spend some money at e.l.f., what I do suggest you pick up are the mini bite size blush and highlighter duos. I love these two. As I said before, this one is Spiced Apple. Very nice. And this one is Coconut. I would probably wear this one in the fall into winter time. And I would wear this one right now. But even together mixed as I did here for this look, I enjoyed it. And I thought it was really, really pretty. They also have bite-sized eyeshadows. I picked up two of those last time. I did an e.l.f. try-on and I still love those. Hot Jalapeno is my all-time favorite. That's the one with the greens. But I do like Berry Bad as well. So I would definitely pick up the bite-sized shadows and these bite-sized cheap products. I think that is where you should spend your dollars. Definitely worth it. And lastly, I wanna talk about this lipstick a moment. I love the color, but I don't like the application. It feels a little bit like the Buxom Lip Plumper where you get a little bit of tingly sensation. It's also very, very fruity smelling. So if you are put off by strong fruit scents in your lip products, I would not suggest you pick this up but I do like the shine. It's not as glittery on your lips as it is in the bottle, which I enjoy. I think that's very good, but I wouldn't pick this up again because I'm not really crazy about that tingly feeling when you first put it on, and I'm not really wild about having such a strong scent in my lip product. So for me, the only thing I loved was the cheap products, which is what I went to the e.l.f. website to purchase. But that's just my opinion, babes. Let me know yours in the comment section below. As always, thank you so much for watching. You have now been bellified. Take care and I'll see you back here soon.